Now on DVD, a special kind of movie magic from the people who brought you the heartwarming bunnies of Watership Down. It's a pair of talking dogs! Escape to the adventure of a lifetime when two dogs break out of an animal research facility that locks monkeys in tiny cans, does whatever this is to monkeys, and develops biological weapons from the bubonic plague. Join Black Labrador Ralph, born and raised in a lab never knowing freedom, I'll fight before I'm killed, as he is purposefully drowned and then revived just so he can be drowned again. In the first scene of the film, and adorable fox terrier Snitter, a beloved pet sold to have his brain cut open so he can't tell dreams from reality in an experiment whose result you could only find out if the dog could talk, and has the side effect of making him relive the worst day of his life. So far. Together they'll take a nap in an incinerator, try to herd sheep, have anatomically correct genitals, not catch the plague, be terrified of everything, wander the mowers, starve, and kill sheep. A lot. Then, they'll meet the Todd, a Geordie fox who swears like a sailor, Your ass will be inside out by morning, and has the most needlessly creepy introduction ever committed to film. Together they'll kill more sheep, wander the moors, starve, be hunted by the army, starve, get held at gunpoint repeatedly, and accidentally kill their last chance of safety and happiness in the scene that will make your kids shit their pants. Are you beginning to see a pattern here? Your kids will marvel as the faceless scientist in charge fails so hard at damage control that they cause a national emergency over two tame dogs wandering outside in the snow. Starring John Hurt as Snitter. We're dead, you and I. I've killed us both. Christopher Benjamin as Ralph. James Boland as the Todd. And the human race as the faceless assholes who are putting them through this shit. The Plague Dogs, because freedom isn't worth it if you just starve for four months and then get hunted down for fighting to survive and then... I promise myself I wouldn't fucking cry again. I'm 25 years old, damn it. But hey, it's got talking dogs.